Today is May 17th, still is. A few minutes and it's gonna be 18, Monday. This, what you see right here was, you know what this is? This is a stand where the ad was. And the thing about this stand is that what makes this stand really, really unique is uh, you can see the desks. They, they look completely new, almost like, well, not exactly new, like maybe two, three years or something like that. You see pallet, everything is like really well preserved, isn't it? Well preserved because this goes all the way back to 2006. I don't think 2008. This is probably from 2006. Now you're going to say Sebastian. Now you are insane, man. No, I'm not insane. This is actually real. What you see here, you cannot find this on a Google Maps. If you look on a Google Maps, you're not going to find this on a Google Maps. And so you're going to say, how? Why is this popped up here? Well, it popped up here because they know that Sebastian is coming here, for one thing. And it popped up here, so I could record this name, Perry. You know, it didn't come to me in the daytime, but there was one neo-Nazi garbage, and you know, Trump had a whole bunch of them. He brought with him Nazis, a hardcore Hitlerist, fascists with a variety of backgrounds that would go and would simply blackmail at Stewart, you know, local owners of the businesses here and stuff like this to do stuff for them to promote basically this thing here. Do you see what I see? In the daytime, I've not seen this. And when I saw it, I was thinking about how this thing was well preserved for so long that they waited on me. No, this individual, this neo-Nazi, uh, I'm not actually sure was it American or was it, it was also Australians. It was American, this one. It was British Nazi still. It was all kinds of garbage that came. And this one here had a company. It was a wealthy individual investor who promoted what you see here, basically. And people did not see this sign, what actually was about. But somebody did realize what this was. And it ended up like this, smashed in pieces. So you say, how was this thing preserved so well for so long? How would it have been possible? Because a local here took one probably under his barn or inside of his storage uh, have preserved one. So to the day when I would return eventually, I did some 14 years afterwards, after this thing happened here. They put this out so I could do what I, with the pleasure I do. Uh, and I know I'm correct because this thing that you see here turned stomach around many, to many people, including Americans that were here. Obama was here too. And they saw these things. It was beyond disgusting. This is a legacy of Donald Trump. part of his legacy basically in Poland. It's a basically ugly face of the Nazism. This is straight as you go on the way toward uh, my residence. Right on the other side, if you look at the Google Maps, you're going to see
these boxes here you know, see them positioned one like this on the side and that must have been taken before 2015 because in 2015 it was American psychologist and it could have been even in 2013 I'm not certain about that they anticipated my arrival here the latest 2017 2017 they were 100 percent I will pop up here and instead I have chosen a Belarus as a final destination I wanted to escape literally from European Union and the idea was literally to immigrate to Belarus and I did and apply for political protection over there for political asylum because they turned our countries into a zoo literally through European Union Court for so-called human rights which is this thing here that you see this is how most of those politicians from European Union represent you see this oh this is actually real they were here they were also here, here people for the human rights it was all kinds of stuff and they conditioned me just like Donald Trump conditioned people in Poland businesses with promoting stuff like you have just seen right there seriously I'm not kidding there is a hotel right there that started to engage in a funny stuff too um, this area here is like a little America I would call this like a little America I was just at night it's past midnight right now probably already probably now is 18 Monday I just walked down the street and I saw hotels empty they, they, they went bankrupt but back then this was flourishing when Trump was here and they would have this American delegates business people they would spend large here there is a Jeep dealership not too far from here maybe no it's not thousand meters it's not a kilometer from here 500 meters maybe six seven hundred yards maybe something like this you're not gonna find one easily in Poland actually and have moved this to another location right there and that's a that's a Red Cross for donation if you would donate for the poor people in Poland to cover this thing here because supposedly there is something written about me there so that I would come it would remind me of this little box here that there are poor people in Poland who need help but this I already know this is one of the reasons why I'm here I'm not running away from anything in this world and the least I'm running from is the conscience like this I doubt there is anything left there maybe it is maybe not but this was one of the MK Ultra locations they would gather here like MK Ultra locations you have no idea what else I would reveal about this place here this is just about yeah probably really some 600 seven, six, 700 yards away from where I live in that area indicated just at the end of the street you would actually turn right and maybe proceed maybe for another 300 yards or so and that's where I am you see there was something scratched there whatever it is they teased me like this that, you know okay I don't actually depend on the stuff like this even a little bit I have already proven my case but it could have been worse than that and that's something I also wondered about what would have happened if I would not remember anything if I could not recall anything and I would go through this and what would happen with me they told me that I'm a dead man that I will end up in a mental hospital homeless and stuff like this you know this is how it was so when you hear this MK Ultra and stuff like this this is nothing to play it's Poland things are looking out good but what exactly would have happened if things would not be going along well
I lost 25 years of life like this. And it seems like these people would not understand. Not these people, but people in general somehow do not understand this. I feel as if they have a problem. I have a story of my own, you know. All this is interesting here. Uh, and I am thankful for this stuff. And I gladly, because it supports the stuff I have talked about. Supports the stuff I have spoken about. And I gladly demonstrate this stuff. This is, this is just simply, simply amazing. The amazing stuff. Uh, what some allow themselves in Poland, they did not even allow themselves back in Australia, in England, in the US, and in Germany. Yeah. Amazing. It's what basically you can do to the country, to the economy that is exhausted, uh, financially ruined, basically. And this is what Poland was. Poland still has a long way to go to get anywhere. But the thing is that I procalculated myself the proper direction for the Poland. It's the whole humanity that has that same problem, that has that long road to walk. It's not Poland alone. And within this big charter, as I mentioned one, as humanity, I am certain there is a good place for Poland too. There is a place for these people to prosper along with other nations and offer something to other people and get in return. Because anything is better than what you have seen right there. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.